Keanu Reeves' Neo should be the first on Multiverse's roster of new fighters. Before Warner Brothers briefly discontinued Multiverse's last year, I was having a great time with the colorful, cartoony fighter. There were some rough edges to smooth out, particularly with its grindy battle pass, but mechanically it was really rewarding. However, the game's roster still needs a boost to take it to the next level. Warner Brothers has one of the finest movie franchises around, starring none other than the legend himself, Keanu Reeves, hence the Matrix's Neo must be added to the game when it returns. Multiverses has the potential to be one of the best fighting games ever, if only because of its characters. While many of the game's characters are inspired by DC Comics heroes, popular cartoon series, and even prestige television shows like Game of Thrones, there is still potential for bigger and bolder combatants. In this aspect, Neo is an obvious pick, but I must admit that I am rather biased. That is because I am a huge fan of the Matrix franchise. Yes, even the undervalued and brilliant The Matrix Resurrections. I even have a Matrix tattoo that rests atop a John Wick tattoo. I believe you get the picture. But adding Neo isn't just something I'm doing to satisfy myself in the absence of a new PS5 game centered in the Matrix universe. Neo's talents are astounding, but understanding how to use and oppose them will be a great task. I guess when you think of Neo, you picture him freezing bullets in the air from the Matrix reloaded or soaring away during the Matrix's climactic scenes. This is on top of his extensive understanding of martial arts and weaponry. Thinking about the shadow fight in the Matrix reloaded always gives me goosebumps, and bringing that degree of badassery to multiverses would be thrilling. Incorporating Neo's hand-to-hand -hand expertise allows for powerful combos, although his powers will need to be nerfed to some extent. That implies no Dragon Ball Z-style battles, like in the Matrix Revolutions. However, deflecting enemy assaults or projectiles, briefly using flight to dodge attacks, and properly implementing slow motion can be effective. Each fighter in the multiverse's tier list has unique perks that grant you and your friends specific buffs in battle. Elements such as the aforementioned use of slow motion can be incorporated here, at the expense of other characteristics. Adding Neo to the game's lineup also allows developer player first games to draw on Warner Brothers archives to create incredible environments. Arenas located in a machine infested Zion, the Burly Brawl Park, the Merovingian's Shadow, and the legendary Mega City Helicopter, where Neo dodges bullets for the first time, are ideal for wild clashes, and none of this would seem out of place. The producers of Multiverses have already hinted that other adult oriented properties, such as Breaking Bad, will join in on the fun, which would be fantastic news for this Walter White big fan we chatted with many moons ago.